Oh, well, it is a Father's Day special this morning, so we are spreading the love to all of our dads. But we cannot set aside those headlines. It's a big sporting weekend. Our last hope for South African Super Rugby, it is the Stormers up against the Brumbies tomorrow in that playoff. Um, but, of course, we cannot forget what has been an incredible season for these other South African franchises, most notably the Lions. And it is, oh, it, it fills my heart with pride to have Cortinal Skosan in studio, um, who has been a star player for the Lions. And Jakobus, a very proud, you, you're a lot more proud than I am of this young man. Yeah, gentlemen, welcome to the, the show. Um, before so we much. get into the nitty gritty, I, I have to ask, first off, to qualify, who knows more about rugby? I think Courtney. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that respect. But I, I think you both would have felt the sting to have come so close to a playoff. Literally, you know, when they talk about a game of inches, this was a game of seconds, quite literally. How did the team deal with that after the kind of season that you guys have had? Oh, well, obviously, we were disappointed after the game. We felt like we actually lost that game. But, I mean, there were still a lot of things that had to happen for us to make the quarterfinal. So I don't think we can be too disappointed yeah. with what we've done this season. I think we've, we've worked hard. We've, 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 we've done ourselves proud and our fans proud, so we can just keep on working. What has happened in that Lions camp to create this kind of team spirit, this kind of never-say-die attitude? When you look at when you guys started, very few stars in that team now, everyone has put their hand up and the world of rugby knows who you guys are. What has been at the heart of that revival of Lions rugby? Well, I think the most important thing is that it, we fight for each other. I mean, we 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 a team actually. You yeah. know, we are bond. We are we are a band of brothers, and we 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 know that when we go out on that field, it's not going to be the individual that's going to make the difference. It's going to be the whole team. You know, it's 15 men firing and just fighting and just making sure that we do whatever we can do to make the team perform. And you can see that man playing for a bigger picture now. <laughs> I think you've got to experience what most fathers dream about: seeing their son. Don that rugby jersey, head onto the field for one of the best teams, I think, in world rugby they've proven this year. How proud were you that first time that you got to see Hortnell step onto the field with the Lions jersey on? Uh, very, uh, very proud, very proud. And uh, I will always make sure that um, if it's possible for me, then I will be there at the field to support him. Is he loud? Is he like one of those soccer dads who screams on the side of the field? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, but I know he's always there to support, yeah. So, so what advice did you give him growing up? How? Because, you know, clearly he hasn't done this alone. You can see that he, he has a, a good head on his shoulders. He, you can see that on the field. What advice have you been given, Courtney, as he's been progressing as a player? Okay, what I, what I always tell him, if you go there, um, doesn't matter how long you play. If, it's, if you come from the bench and it's five minutes, you just give your best. And you've done that, man. You've done that. <laughs> I know how difficult it is to, to make yourself a, um, you know, a run-on player. Um, big one tomorrow, and I know I'm sorry, I'm pouring salt into the wounds here, but as a, as a, um, you know, a storm, I, I have to, um, you know, we've got to look at what they've achieved this season against a very strong um, outfit, not just the, the local derbies, yes. but I mean, it, it really has been a really hard-hitting season. You guys have faced the Brumbies before. You know how good they are. What do the Stormers, a very, uh, looks like a very strong Stormers team now, 14 changes made. What do they have to do to overcome the Brumbies tomorrow? Well, I think the most important thing is they just have to stick to what they know. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's always easy when you get to, to final stages of competitions where you try and do funny stuff, you try yeah. and play a different game. I think just stick to their guns and, and hopefully they can pull through the win for South Africa. What do you make of a lot of people have been, um, I think, quite derogatory in terms of them not getting those bonus point tries, not being free scoring. When you look at the amount of, of pace in that back line, what do you make of that? Is, something that? is that something that weighs over them? Do you think that they haven't been scoring the tries? Do they need to focus on playing a bit more of an expansive game? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, if you look at a guy like Cheslin Kobe, I mean, he can make magic like this. Yeah. I mean, anything can happen on the field. I think just the opportunities went there. And um, the game that they're playing, I mean, they're in the quarterfinals. So, I mean, they have done well this season. So, I don't think we can say that they're not running enough. I mean, yeah. they scored a few brilliant tries this season. And I think, yeah, they just have to keep on doing what they're doing. Oh, I'm sure they'd appreciate that from <laughs> coming from the enemy camp. I'm going to ask quickly, lastly, I think being Father's Day, we've seen how special the bond between our, our sons and fathers are. Um, ahead of Father's Day, what is it about your dad that, that you love so much? Oh, the one thing I can tell you, it's a life lesson that he actually taught me, was to always respect people, you know, and to, and, and I, I was disciplined. He was a very strict man when I was younger, good, so yeah, good. I mean, I think all of that stuff just taught me to be the man that I am today. Oh man, well, we're going to enjoy chatting to you guys a little bit further, see if we can dig up a bit of dirt on you. I'm sure you weren't good and disciplined all of the time, but gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us ahead of Father's Thanks Day. Awesome so to have you here, and well thank done you. again Thanks. on an incredible season. Well